they become a force to be reckoned with. Femininity in Business is a women's event focused on bringing together entrepreneurs and those who desire to bring their idea to fruition. I look back into time. If somebody told a little five-year-old Latvian girl named Christina that she would be where she is today, she would hardly believe it. This is where femininity in business really rolls out. It's giving power back to the woman to be in her high femininity and unafraid to step out into the unknown and take some risks and live with unapologetic confidence because the world needs more powerful yet feminine women. We are abundant as women, okay? We can navigate those obstacles, whether that's a job, your expectations from your husband, your children, right? Your passions, you can navigate those things. Believe me, God's given you gifts. You have that abundance inside of you. Women empowerment means getting away from this illusion that you have to be, act, do, like something that you're not. When you start to understand what it means to be in your fullest healed feminine energy, you will start to see so much power. You won't want to be or do anything else. We don't have to hustle. We don't have to go into this masculine energy mode of business. When we start to understand who we are as females and the power we possess, the more we're gonna to wanna to continue to operate out of that energy. There's always this, this feeling of self-doubt that shows up, especially when women are stepping into more male-dominated industries, uh, for my case, the music industry um, and other areas of business, where it, it really seems daunting to step into those spaces without feeling like, oh, do I need to have you know, a male counterpart with me in this room to strike a deal or things like that. And knowing that when you are surrounded by women who first give you the pep talk that you need in the bathroom or on the phone before you walk into the meeting by yourself, uh, that it's not, it, it's not a daunting thing. It's actually a celebration of what's happening for you and for fellow women in their business. You can't do it all. That's the biggest question that we fight but it's also said to us that you really can't do it all. You have to choose one thing and you have to get very good at that one thing and that's it. And that is not an abundant mindset. It's a very poverty driven mindset actually. And the way that um, you know, we really shift that was, is really staying rooted in who you are. I am here uh, to hear more about women in business and just to be inspired and to keep that cycle of inspiration between a woman. I'm expecting just to be uh, re-inspired, uh, to learn something new. I feel like there's always so much you can learn from women who have more experience in life. Um, there's always something to take from that and I'm hoping just to, just to be open uh, to learn more. The entire Seattle was like, Jessica, 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 and I am so honored that you get to be a part of our first women's event here, and you're one of the I am speakers. honored to be here. <laughs> I am in amazing company, so thank you for having me. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we're about to start. This is kind of insane. There's so much happening behind us. Such a fun, great group of women from all over, not just the Seattle area. Uh, tell us quickly, yeah. what does femininity in your line of business mean to you? And what does that look like? I feel like femininity looks different to everybody. For me personally, I think it means leaning into the innate natural tendencies that, that you know women are made with and harnessing those things in the business world. And so when it comes to like being a nurturer or you know being a hostess or that sort of thing, you know, I think those are powerful tools that you can use in business that can really set you apart and, and include more people at the table in what you're doing to collaborate with you. So for me, I think it's just leaning into those uh, innate feminine tendencies. Oh, I love it. And you model it so well. Thank you. I see it all the time. And then there just came a moment, it was just a click in my head. I'm like, my time is now. And I think when that click in your head happens, that's when you start to um, action, but you have to almost gradually grow into it because as an entrepreneur, you're creating most likely something that the world has never seen and there is no paved path.
I'm so excited to be a part of this event tonight for multiple reasons. The first and foremost is that Christina Kovalevich, our host for tonight, uh, has been a friend of mine for many, many years since we were teenagers. And seeing how she has through the years built up this amazing brand as being a strong, wonderful example of a leader of a woman in business and going after your dreams and entrepreneurship how could I not so give us just a short little nugget what is it that makes Jennifer so awesome <laughs> well first of all I wouldn't be sitting here unless you were a part Aww. of my journey because I started my uh, photography and beauty artistry business during COVID so my business is a COVID baby and Christina was one of my first models to step in and allow me to just work out all the tweaks, fail you guys, I failed tons and tons of times, but she always gave me the look and her positivity and energy just kept me going. So this is an honor for me to be sitting here and we both grew through yes. that experience, right? Yes. Oh yeah. Uh, so I feel, I feel absolutely honored that I can be part of this woman empowerment movement and I'm a girly girl so femininity is all about me and um, and business intertwine is is a bonus. Yeah, you, you look yes. like it. Oh, thank you. You're just <laughs> dressed fantastic to the nine. And so this is where femininity in business really rolls out. Step out into the unknown and take some risks and live with unapologetic confidence because the world needs more powerful yet feminine women.